Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shameen. I am proctologist, breast surgeon and general surgeon. Today we will discuss about pylonidal sinus. Pylonidal sinus is a benign disease which is very commonly seen in males but also seen in females. So the, what is pylonidal sinus? Pylus means hair and nidus means nest. That means a sinus which contains hair and nest is called pylonidal sinus. It most commonly appears between the two buttocks in the cleavage between the buttocks. But it can also occur in other parts of the body, especially in females. It can appear between the two breasts, cleavage between the two breasts. What are the reasons for formation of such a pylonidal sinus? One is obesity. When because of obesity, there is a deep cleavage which leads to sweat accumulation and uh, formation of these pylonidal sinus. What happens is initially there will be an infection of the sweat gland which leads to sucking up of the hair inside the gland because of the friction whenever we walk. Uh, and so this forms a pylo nidal sinus initially after infection it becomes an abscess and this in turn turns into a pylonidal sinus tract where, where one of the end opens up on the skin and pus starts to ooze out from that opening. So once such a tract is formed there can form many multiple branches also to such tracts. So what are the risk factors for getting pylonidal sinus? So first is obesity being obese, second is having a sedentary lifestyle that is sitting in one place for a long time, third is male gender but it is also seen in females, fourth is uh, keeping the place unhygienic. So these are the four reasons why we are prone to get a pylonidal sinus. So let's see what are the symptoms of pylonidal sinus. So once we have pylonidal sinus, there will be pain, swelling and pus discharge from that area that is between the two buttocks or between the breast cleavage. So there will be pain, swelling and the pus discharge oozing out from the swelling. These are the most common symptoms and sometimes even the hair can be seen coming out of the opening. Coming to investigations, once you experience such symptoms like pain, swelling or uh, pus oozing out, you have to uh, show a doctor and doctor will clinically see and diagnose whether it is a pylonidal sinus or not. For confirmation and to know the depth and the length of the track, uh, we usually perform an ultrasound uh, examination. In ultrasonography, we get to know the track uh, length, depth and if any there are branches and also uh, if there is any other connection. If we are suspecting any connection to the bowel, we usually prefer an MRI. So MRI and ultrasound of that area are the most common investigations we advise if we suspect it's a pylonidal sinus. Let's come on to the treatment. So main treatment option is surgical. There are very uh, less chances that it can get resolved with only medication because the tract is filled with hair and there is infection inside the tract. So the main option for this is surgical treatment and there are many options in surgical treatment like uh, surgical excision, surgical excision followed by flap placement and also the recent advances in the spironidal sinus treatments uh, including the lasers. So if you experience any of these symptoms and especially in the intergluteal cleft or between the breast, the cleft, kindly consult your doctor for further examination. Thank you.